Mark as Peter Holland exposed Meg insisted on sleeping with him while married to Trevor. A Toronto native who knew Megan in Canada reported that she was a puck bunny. There's evidence of a flirting with Peter Holland, who's an ice hockey player, while married to Trevor on Twitter. Soon after, the ice hockey player stated that Megan did everything dirty to sleep with me, from texting me to beg to show an affection for me right on TV. This makes me feel disgusted and I just want to stay as far away from her as physically possible. Besides, Meghan Markle and first husband Trevor Engelson may have parted ways after the actress had an affair with one of her suit's co-stars. This was claimed by the Duchess's half-sister, Samantha. The Royal Observer was the first to obtain a copy of Samantha's new tell-all, The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister. A memoir in which she writes, we heard through the grapevine that Meg was involved with someone on the show. We don't really talk about her marital problems and I wish that we could have because I've been through it all and I felt I could be an experienced source of comfort and maybe advice. The Duchess of Sussex and Engelson were married in 2011 in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. In other news, Meghan Markle has been warned her dream of making it into US politics is in serious danger because she's now losing support from many of her closest allies. The Duchess of Sussex has made a series of interventions into US politics lobbying politicians in the country for changes to parental leave as well as climate policy. This has intensified speculation that Meghan could be setting her sights even higher and may one day consider launching a campaign to enter the race to become the president. Last month, a Netflix documentary series saw Meghan and her husband Prince Harry complain about their alleged ill treatment from the British press and being able to escape the UK for a new life in the US, where they can enjoy more freedom. But Niall Gardner, a Washington-based foreign policy expert, accused Meghan of an endlessly whining exercise. He told Express.co.uk, Meghan is very unpopular with the US Conservatives, but there's a liberal elite that is in power right now, with the Biden presidency that still like her a lot. However, at the same time, the recent Netflix documentary series received quite a lot of criticism in the US media, not just from the Conservatives, but also among liberals as well, who felt this was an endlessly whining exercise. Meghan remains someone who has deep-seated political ambitions and retains some strong ties to the Democratic Party. Last month, the Duchess of Sussex was warned some of her natural allies in the US have been put off by the scale of her vanity and arrogance following the Netflix documentary series. Mr Gardner told Express.co.uk, It's striking Meghan has had very little support from the woke liberal elites who haven't come out in force to defend her. The scale of Meghan's vanity and arrogance has even put off some of her natural allies on the American left. This has backfired spectacularly on Meghan and Harry. This is not the hit they were hoping it would be. It's alienated the British people, but it's also failed to garner any significant support in America. Americans have no time for a complaint against the British monarchy or complaints of being a victim. He added the royal family is still very popular in the US and Americans love the British monarchy. With the passing of the Queen, there was a huge outpouring of grief in America. Every US flag was flown at half-mast here over a week. They love the royal family, and Meghan attacking the monarchy is certainly not a popular move here. In March 2021, during a bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey, the couple alleged there had been several conversations within the royal family about the skin tone of their soon-to-be-born